Well, good morning YouTube and welcome back to Retired for Life. So today we are starting to work on preparations for winter. It is not quite September yet, but there are a few jobs that I want to get out of the way so I don't have to worry about them. And one of them is going to be finishing up the detailed work with my Starlink post here. I may have seen in a video a little while ago where I put the cement footer in for this post and got it installed. It used to sit on a, a wooden frame until I made this permanent installation. So my next step that uh, I'm doing today is pretty straightforward. I've had my cable running on top of the grass since putting this in, well, since putting Starlink in in this location. So today I'm going to actually trench it out. So I've got some of the uh, gray rigid conduit that I'm gonna be using and I'm gonna dig down. Now I'm not worried about things freezing or anything like that. There's no water going through it. There's not really electricity. It's just the uh, cable going out to the dish. But that being said, I still wanna protect it. Now I understand that these cables can be buried, but I'm not gonna take that chance and, and just bury the cable in itself, which is why I'm putting it in the uh, three quarter inch rigid conduit through the ground. And that will give it lots of protection. So if I get down two feet uh, for this, I'm gonna be quite happy with that. So not a big deal. So what I'm gonna do is use the backhoe to dig out most of the trench kind of thing, and then finish it up with a shovel. And then I will measure out for the conduit, get the conduit all ready to go into place, and then slowly thread it together and glue it together as I get the cable up and through the conduit. So pretty straightforward job, hopefully, no surprises. Always worried about hitting rocks here, so we'll see what happens. All right, we got the tractor in place, let's go get to work. Well, my battery died, so we didn't catch uh, all of this, but we've got most of the trench dug here. And I ran into one big rock, but it's just out of the way. So you can see my orange line there. So that's not gonna be a problem. Now, because I'm up against a wall on that side and my pole on this side, and a drop off just on the other side of the pole. I'm gonna finish the last bit here by hand and get the tractor out of the way. And I'll use the tractor to fill things back in. But that went quite nicely. Uh, it only took a few minutes. It really didn't take very long at all to dig that out. So that's a little over 50 feet worth of trench there. And the uh, backhoe did a great job. Saved me a lot of work, and I'm so glad that rock did not line up right in the way, but it is just out of the way. So that's good. So hopefully we won't run into any more rocks. We're gonna go get the shovel and finish this out. I know that you and Frank were planning to disconnect me, and I'm afraid that's something I cannot allow to happen. Well, I knew things were going too smoothly. 
I started out with a very nice, neat, narrow trench. Now I got this. <laughs> Looks like a meteor crater. Well, fortunately we are close to uh, an edge here, so I'll use the backhoe, roll it over a little bit farther, and then turn around, use the shovel, and just push it up to the edge of uh, this little piece, and push it over, get rid of it. right up to the edge, but I think just for the fun of it, I'm going to leave it there. That way at some point in time I can go look what I did. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the shoveling. Well, I hope you guys have been enjoying today's video, and if you have, I'd really appreciate the like, and I'd love to have you subscribe to the channel. And don't forget, if you got any comments, suggestions, anything like that, I'd love to hear from you. All right, let's get back to work. Well, there is our uh, trench dug from one end to the other. I've got my uh, rigid PVC conduit laying next to it here. So what I'm gonna do is piece together my conduit uh, complete one end to the other um, before I try to put the wire through or anything. I wanna have everything to size, then I'll take it apart and start feeding the wire through and, and glue things together. All right, let's get back in the trench. Well, that's pretty good. It worked out perfectly here to uh, 50 feet, almost perfectly. I only need to cut off about four inches from uh, one of these conduit pieces and then I'll be good. So I've got the one low spot here, of course, from where that crazy rock came out of. So I think we'll take a few minutes, fill up underneath the conduit there. Uh, then I can take the conduit out and actually disconnect the wire from Starlink and start looking at threading uh, the wire through everything. 
All right, folks, so we've got our conduit in place. Got the cable coming out down through the conduit. to our post. So the next thing I'm gonna do here is get the dish back in place and power it up just to be absolutely sure everything is working before I bury this line. <laughs> just to be on the safe side, because sometimes you just never know. All right, let's get the dish in place. As usual, I just don't have enough hands. Okay. All right, now I just want to pull my slack cable back that way because I don't want a bunch of cable hanging loose here. All right, you guys watch the dish. I'm going to turn the power back on and uh, get my iPad, and we'll see what happens. Okay, there we go. Power is on. Oh, it takes two or three minutes for this thing to boot up in the first place. But being unplugged, one of the things it might want to do is an update. So I see the Wi-Fi already coming through. And it says it's connecting, optimizing connection, calculating orientation. I don't think it's going to move. It's now telling me it's offline. Starlink is unplugged or rebooting. So we're going to go with the rebooting theory. Oh, here we are. Calculating orientation. Starlink connected. Online. We'll do a speed test here. Well, I think we're good, yes. I'm going to uh, go inside, do one more speed test, and if everything checks out, we're ready to bury this thing.
we're getting there. Well, folks, I think that's pretty much it. We had some fun over there with a really big rock. I think we're in pretty good shape here now. So that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you found it interesting or maybe a little bit entertaining. And if you did, please give it a like and I'd love to have you subscribe to the channel. So remember to stay safe out there, be good to each other, and we will see you out on the trails the next time. I think I need just a little more seed.